OK, chap, so let's have a look at our driver circuit. We're going to drive our two great big, powerful LEDs. These are the 3 watt LEDs. We're going to drive them in series, and they take about 2 volts um, each. So overall, when they're fully driven, they're going to take 4 volts. Now, we were going to use a TIP120, which is a really old-fashioned transistor, um, instead of which we're going to use an IRF540N. So, IRF540N, which is a MOSFET transistor. Um, it's not the ideal one, but it's not bad. Um, it's not ideal in as much as the threshold voltage can be up to 4 volts for this thing. So, there's our schematic for our MOSFET transistor. And this transistor, when it's switched on, it effective volts across the thing equals zero, which is brilliant, because it actually has milliohms resistance. It's virtually a short circuit, which is brilliant, because that's exactly what we want. So, there's our little circuit. We need to drive this thing here, and this can be between two and four. Oops. 4 volts um, to um, turn on. So we need between 2 and 4 volts, that's in the specification. It's a bit of a problem because the GPIO voltage that comes in here, GPIO output is either 0 or 3.3 volts. Um, in fact it will be near 0 and near 3.3 volts for logic 1 or logic 0 logic 0 or logic, logic 1 so we've got a problem here, this is 4 to 3.3, that's 2 to 4 easily solved uh, what we'll do is we'll drive a little BC337 transistor, any old general purpose transistor will do for that um, and we'll put a pull up resistor that pulls it up to plus 5 volts and we'll put a 10k, 10k ohm resistor in there. Um, so this voltage here um, will then be either 0 volts, uh, 0.6 volts, or it will be around um, 5 volts, which is good because that means kind of uh, on or off. Uh, but we do know now that the input here is going to be when this is off that will be on, and when this is on, this will be off, so it's kind of an inverter. Um, I forgot to put that here, that the plus 5 volts is up here. Um, as it stands, this would obviously completely blow up my infrared LEDs, so we need a resistor in here. Oops, forgot to put that there. And this is going to be around about 1 volt across there. And this is a limiting resistor, we'll call it uh, L. And we'll call this one well, RB if you like and that's um, pull up resistor I'm not even going to label that one yeah, yeah there you go right so RL is the limiting resistor let's just make sure we can see that um, R equals V over I we want it to draw down there around about um, 800 milliamps max and so in fact what we'll do is we'll say it's going to be 1 volt over 0.8 which equals 1 over 4 over 5 which as a mathematician I'm supposed to be able to say this equals 5 over 4 so it actually equals 1.25 ohms in fact, we've tried this in practice, and um, we'll actually use 1.0 ohms, which is a little bit uh, dodgy, because you might think there's too much current going there, but actual measured current equals around about 0.6 to 0.7 amps, which is 600 to 700 milliamps. So there's our circuit and that circuit drives the big power LEDs.
Hello chaps. Uh, it's time to test the LED driver circuit in this CCTV camera thing. So I'm going to power up the driver board and see first of all if it will light up the power infrared LEDs. And we have used the MOSFET for this one, the metal oxide semiconductor, and it's much better. So we'll just test it first because we don't want it to blow up when we bolt it to the wall later on. Okay chaps, here's the power supply, it's around about 5 volts, that's okay. We've connected it up um, to the LEDs that are in our camera, the Pi isn't powered yet. And on the front of the camera we've got two high power LEDs down here, they're infrared. They're not um, fully infrared, There's, you can see some red there, it's slightly visible. And a yellow and a blue um, ordinary LED for indicators, just to scare criminals off. And in the middle we've got Mr. Raz Pi camera. Right, you have. So what have we got? Little driver board is down here, and we need to make sure we can test him and that he works okay. So what we'll do, we'll power up with the positive uh, five volts, and by default the LEDs light up. And there they are, lit up, nice and bright. Um, the camera can see them, but it's less bright to me because the camera is more sensitive to infrared. So what we're going to do, we're going to power up the um, driver uh, transistor and that turns them off. Take the wire off and they come on again. So I'm happy with that. Uh, at the moment, by default, with the driver transistor just turn off, that's the little one, the BC337, then that means that the MOSFET is powered. Um, and while we're at it, we'll just grab hold of it to make sure it's not getting too warm. That's not getting too warm. All is good. And we're happy. So we need now to test the little L indicator LEDs. And then we'll be happy with our little driver board down here. And we can bolt it into the camera.